Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about radiology number 37. And more specifically, the different medications given in the ICU and various critical care settings within a hospital. And if you remember in the past videos, we were kind of discussing about the audit. And so we're going to kind of continue that discussion, but kind of step back a little bit further. Just to kind of reaffirm the knowledge of what IV fluids are and like the medications as well. Because so far we're talking mostly about the medication portion. So I kind of want to explain a little more on what IV fluids are because that kind of ties back into our final cases I keep mentioning. Like always, we're going to have the same slide over here. <laughs> But um, feel free to not worry about this right now, as I mentioned in the previous video, because it's not directly related. Um, it's definitely good to refresh your memory, and it's definitely useful in my past videos. And it's going to be in my future videos, so definitely stay tuned for that. But other than that, don't be too much worried if you don't know this. So this right here is like a sodium chloride IV bag. And what it is, is essentially a mix of electrolytes to kind of help hydrate the body due to past incidents, whether it be like a heat stroke, whether it be after surgery, just in general cases to kind of rebalance like the nutrition and the pH of the body. And it's also used to kind of add more water into the body to help increase blood pressure and supply more water elasticity during the um, arterial linings and all that. And this is inserted through an IV uh, area, or more specifically called an IV line. And these lines kind of go directly into the arteries and, I mean, the vein, and that kind of sends it directly into the bloodstream to get it flowing throughout the rest of the body. Now, you're also probably aware of the massive IV shortage happening because of various natural disasters, such as a hurricane, and that kind of signifies a big kind of problem within the industry because what happens is there's like these major plants that are very centralized and globalized in the world and these plants kind of take place in all sorts of hospitals right so IV bags are taken from that specific plant going everywhere across the world and usually with these shortages you can kind of replace them with a specific type of salinated water and while it may not be the same quality, quantity, or the same materials used, it can still be a relevant um, piece that can act as a temporary substitute. And that's kind of it for this video. I just want to give a little bit more emphasis on like a little bit more background info of what IV fluids are and what they're composed of. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one, where we talk a little bit more about the different types of medications, now that you have a more firm understanding of what IV fluids themselves are. Now the next time you hear that word, you kind of understand what it means.